Okay guys, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. So this is a video lecture for Self Training Control Part 2. Okay, we already covered uh, poor assignment and poor assignment for server control in video lecture part 1. So for this uh, video, uh, we will cover uh, three items uh, which are poor assignment for regulator, Poor assignment for servo control and regulator, minimum variance controls for standard, generalized, and detuned uh, minimum variance control (MVC). And for the next video lecture for part three, I will give a few examples for each cases. Uh, so let's start now. Okay, now, poor assignment regulator. The objective of the controller are to remove the effect of the disturbance to the system, to regulate the output around zero value, even when the system is subject to the disturbance, rather than tracking the reference signals. So, therefore, it's considered the case where the reference signal RP is equal to zero. Okay, now, consider a system with a disturbance zeta t and rt equal to zero. The closed loop response is given by yt equal to z minus b over a ut plus c over a zeta t, where a is equal to 1 plus a 1z minus 1 plus plus a and a z minus a and a b equal to b naught plus b 1z minus 1 plus plus b and b z minus and b and c equal to 1 plus c 1z minus 1 plus plus z uh, c and c z minus and c okay uh, the purpose per assignment controller given by ut equal to minus g over f y t and this is the structure of the poor assignment regulator. Here is the transfer function for the feedback. Uh, feedback controller. Okay, given by minus g over h. And the transfer function for the feed forward forward okay, given by the c over a and here is the transfer function for the open loop open loop transfer functions for the system okay so yt is the output and ut is the controller signal, control signal Okay, so this is the closed loop system uh, equation. Okay. Yt equal to z minus k over a b u t. K u t plus c over a zeta t. Where u t is equal to the controller, the control signal equal to minus g over f y t. Okay. Substitute, say this equation is 1, okay, 1. So, substitute in uh, u t equation, substitute in 1. Therefore, y t equal to z minus k b over a. So, here is u t, okay, substitute the equation from here. Minus g over f y t plus c over a zeta t, okay. So we multiply the 
equation and you will get uh, yt equal to minus z minus kbg over af yt plus f so I multiply f at uh, denominator and denominator fc over fa zeta t okay so here we try to simplify the equation ef yt equal to minus z minus z minus kbg yt plus fc zeta t okay so we rearrange the equations and we will get yt equal to fc over ef plus bg zeta t okay the closed loop system equations of the regulation control using the pull assignments is given by these equations the one that we get from the previous slide okay uh, yt equal to fc over fa plus z minus b uh, z minus 1 bg zeta t so the closed loop uh, characteristic equation from the denominator okay fa plus z minus 1 bg equal to 0 and the desired the desired pole location are such that the desired characteristic equation given by t equal to 1 plus t1 z minus 1 plus plus z of t and t z minus and t okay the design rule for the pool assignment regulator design rule 2 for the pool assignment regulator is given by this equation it's a fixed equation f a plus z minus 1 b g equal to t c okay and the closed loop equation is given by this equation y equal to f over t zeta t a unique solution only exists only exists if a and b are co prime yes have no common zero and f equal to n b plus k minus one n g equal to n a minus one and n t is greater is less than n a plus n b plus k minus one minus n c we will go deeper uh, for these uh, descriptions in the example okay I will show you how to find. Pull assignment for servo control and regulations. In general, the control objective for the combination of servo controls and regulation use the pull assignment method for first to ensure the output yt track the reference signal rt second to remove the effect of noise or disturbance acting on the systems so here is the system with the disturbance yt equal to z minus 1 but over a plus c zeta t over a where zeta t is the disturbance and a equal to 1 plus a1 z minus 1 plus plus a and a z minus and a b equal to b node plus b1 z minus 1 plus plus b and a b and b z minus and b and c equal to 1 plus c1 c1 z minus 1 plus plus z and c z minus and c the pull assignment controller is given by this equation ut equal to h over f rt minus g over f yt where f equal to 1 plus 
f1 z minus 1 plus plus f n f z minus n f g equal to g node plus g1 z minus 1 plus plus b n g z minus n g while h equal to h node plus z1 z minus 1 plus plus h and h z minus and h Okay, the block diagram of the closed loop system is shown in this figure. Here is the feedback uh, controller, G over F. Here is the transfer function for the feedforward controller, H over F. Here is the transfer function for the plan, Z minus 1, B over A. And here is the transfer function... Uh, with the disturbance zeta t c over a. The closed loop system equation is given by this equation yt equal to z minus 1 bh over af plus z minus 1 bg times rt plus cf over af plus z minus 1 bg times zeta t. The closed loop characteristic equation is given by this equation af plus z minus 1 bg equal to 0. The desired pole location are such that the desired characteristic equations t equal to 1 plus z1 z minus 1 plus plus z and t z minus t. The design rule 3 for pole assignment regulator given by this equation AF plus Z minus 1 BG equal to TC. And the closed loop system equation when using design rule 3 is given by YT equal to Z minus 1 BH over CTRT plus F over T zeta T. The unique solution exists if all of this rule is fulfilled. For yt equal to rt at steady state, h must equal to c times t1 over b1. Minimum variance controls MVC. The aim of the MVC is to regulate the output of the system to constants or zero set point. The control design rules is based on optimization method where at each step, uh, each time step, a control signals UT is applied which minimize the variance of the system output given by the equation j equal to e y squared t plus k where k is the time delay so there are three types of the minimum variance controller design method which are standard minimum variance controls mvc generalized minimum variance control gmvc and detune minimum variance control DVMC. The design procedure for MVC can be summarized as shown in this table. Step 1 first, we solve for F and G by using AF plus Z minus KG equal to C. And then we design the controller UT equal to minus G over BF YT. And the last step is to calculate the minimum output variance by using J minimum equal to this equation. This figure shows the structure of the MVC using the controller of the form given by the equations, previous equations. Okay, so we have the disturbance zeta t. Uh, this is the feed forward controller where the transfer functions is c over a. Okay, 
and then this is the transfer function for the plant or the application that we use z minus k b over a and then the output okay become the feedback to the client okay and this is the transfer function for the feedback controller minus g over bf the design procedure uh, using the mvc is relatively simple however there are some drawbacks of the control system designer uh, must have considered when applying this method the mvc method which are mvc achieve its performance objective by cancelling the process dynamics where the uh, forward pass is zero okay so in z cancellations in uh, of non-minimum phase system it could produce uh, unstable performance okay that the first drawback of the mvc through the process it can cause the unstable performance okay the second drawback is the time delay k must be known because the performance of the mvc is affected by the value of k the time delay and uh, mvc itself know the amount of the control input uh, the control effort required okay so it just cancels uh, the ut and this uh, calculation will be ignored during the design process the generalized minimum variance control gmvc is an extension of mvc okay so it is introduced uh, to overcome the disadvantages or the drawback introduced by the mvc the one where we discussed it has a uh, unstable systems and then the time delay must be known and etc okay so here is the design procedure of the gmvc okay uh, so um, the design procedure first to solve the value of f and g okay so we're using ae plus z minus k g equal to pc okay so the controller parameter ut equal to minus g over f y t plus h over f w t and to calculate the minimum output variance we are we will use g m g minimum uh, j minimums equal to this equation okay so i think that's all for chapter two okay self tuning controls for today class i will not take uh, and attendance however through this video lecture i will inform about assignment 2 okay i have uploaded the questions for tutorial 2 complete with answer so for assignment 2 what you need to do is you need to answer question 2 and question 3 in the tutorial uh, with the complete calculations okay so if you study the tutorials you will know which part you need to make the calculation by yourself okay so the complete calculation okay should be given for the assignment 2 so the due date is next thursday okay you have to submit through the google classroom so that's all for assignment two okay assignment two question number two and question number three in tutorial two they are partly uh, answer question uh, questions and partly answer scheme have been provided uh, some of the questions uh, I only give uh, answer for each parameter but there are no 
complete uh, calculations provided. So that's part you have to submit through the assignment too. Okay. So I wish all of you all the best. Okay. Happy midterm break. And the good news is that we will have tests before uh, 10th week. And I think that's all for from me today. And okay, so please remember assignment two, tutorial question number two and three. Submit next Thursday. So all the best. Okay, take care everyone.